Hey everybody, it's Riley. I'm still here in Cape Town, South Africa, in a town called Musenberg. So this is Musenberg Mountain, and it's beautiful, and people hike it. It's really cool. And then over there is Cape Town City, and that is the back of Table Mountain. It's a really cool mountain, and I'm gonna hike it on Sunday, so that'll be fun. And like death, but that's okay. <laughs> and then we have a beach uh, about two minutes down the street over there, and man, whenever I get the chance, I like to go surfing. It's awesome such a blessing but yeah so I've been here for a little over six months doing the nine month Bible school that I was talking about a little while ago and it has completely impacted my life in a different way that I've never known before crazy but we've been in the Old Testament which I've never read the entire Bible completely so <laughs> this is great to get this new view about my faith that is actually really vital to it so we've gone through the first five books of the Bible and then uh, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, and we're in Samuel right now. So my favorite book so far has been um, out of the Old Testament. I was most impacted by Leviticus, and I wrote something on that and posted it a little while ago. It's amazing. Um, but right now, I love Samuel. It's, it's crazy. And um, just to see how God's original design was for him to be king over Israel. But then the people demanded to have a king, and yet he blesses them through that. Even though they totally just went away with his original design that was perfect, he, he redeems a bunch of things through David. And um, yeah, it's, it's been amazing. And I've been challenged to just live my life like David and just also how he has such a raw and real relationship with God and how every single thing that he does, he inquires of the Lord. It always says he, he speaks to the Lord and he asks God and God answers him. And it's like, yeah, you're going to be defeated if you go here. Or yeah, you're going to defeat them if you go over here. But um, also to see how he still fell, but he owned his sin and he repented and he still had blessings after that. And yeah, I'm just challenged and greatly, greatly inspired by the Old Testament. It's crazy. And I just encourage you, if if you're ever in the mood to read the Old Testament, definitely do it. It's so good and I recommend it. <laughs> but yeah, um, so after SBS or the Secondary Bible School, that's what I'm doing, it's called SBS. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet, but I've been praying about it and God has been revealing more things to me and um, yeah, but I have a heart for discipleship. So whatever um, I do next will be with discipleship and I'm so excited to see Jesus come to youth and to people my age or I mean anyone around the world it could be anywhere so <laughs> it's just really exciting um, but yeah if you could be praying for me in that but then also just for strength to finish off the next three to four months of this school and yeah I am so grateful to be here and thank you for all of those who have helped me get here and um, yeah if you guys would like to pray for me or support me with finances I would love that and yeah just you can message me or email me and get more support thank you guys love you bye